Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today we'll be doing a ballistic shooting test with the Tipman TIPX, testing out its power as a less than lethal weapon. Put the steel to inside, put the end cap in, and then give it a quarter turn. Okay, and the steel to is locked in. Right now the gun is not gassed up yet. The good thing is you can leave your gun not gassed up and just you see the trigger right now you cannot really pull it all the way through if you pull it all the way it will snap and gas up the gun so the gun is gassed up only on the first trigger pull so that is very practical for the law enforcement and such to, uh, to use this gun for less than these these are the breakables and they are glass marble with rubber coating as you can see this is 6.1 to 6.2 grams the meter is 0.662 caliber I mean inches open it up the top is full and the bottom is what we need. One gun, okay, one spare mag loaded with brick balls, and three spare mags loaded, all loaded with brick balls, and eight CO2. Now we have our ballistic gel set up there with our GoPro camera going on. This is the WE brand Browning High Power with 0.25 uh, gram BBs. I'm going to use a crony, try to chrono that. Drag the slide, green gas, let's go. One of the, uh, one spot it uh, covered up with a, a t-shirt kind of fabric. The other side is not, so let's try it out. Okay, 285. 290. Okay, that is 0.25 gram. Tipman TIPX, let's try it out. Something's wrong with the gun. A bit low, 199 with breaker balls. Two oh two. At 220 FPS, the breaker balls went in the t-shirt and stuck halfway into the uh, uh, gel. So basically you see the wounds right here, it's quite bad, uh, seventh shot and it kind of, you can see, it did wreck it so that's a big uh, wound.
basically totally destroyed the gel but you can see that with some some of the breaker balls actually went in through the fabric side and some of them didn't but lots of wounds so imagine this guy I mean the gel is a riot uh, kind of guy that's what happened eight uh, centimeters or so of penetration that's done with the uh, without the fabric of course with the fabric around okay if if you take a look at this part this is where the fabric went and uh, it's pretty crazy so basically with the fabric on it's like when you're wearing a t-shirt it produced a lot of impact that actually did you see it uh, it just kind of blast through and the impact went in and break off a piece of meat okay so even it didn't go through at one shot it will go through eventually and it will hurt like hell and here you see one shot went in okay right here inside so you can actually touch it and this is the bricker ball if you got shot by one of these it's, it's gonna really put you in deep pain and without the fabric shooting at that kind of range you get the balls in like that wow and if you actually take a look after abusively shooting a lot of shots um, the impact right here with the fabric on actually looks worse than without the fabric you see the entry hole okay So let's look at the back of the gel and see what happened. Okay, there goes the back of the gel. As you can see, it's split open on uh, this end. This is where I shot it without the fabric. And the impact was so great that it just split open the thing. Okay, in our abusive test, we have one, well, one ball inside. And then when we open it up, one more, two more. Imagine that done to you. One more. And don't forget, stick the hand in. There's one more. And there's one more from my side. Wow. All of these are deeply penetrated into the ballistic gel. Well, guys, come to a conclusion. Uh, the problem with the TIPX is the CO2 punching problem again and again. The first CO2, we got some weaker shots, about 199, 200 kind of FPS with breaker balls. And the problem is because, as you can see, this is the CO2, and the um, the hole from the piercing, it's very, very tiny. Whereas this is the second one. So you really have to sort out a bunch of CO2 and test it with the trigger, try to see like how much you can still get with the trigger and find a bunch of CO2 that will work with your gun before you actually bring this on duty and then when you pull it out it fail on you because of the CO2 length, that's a big problem. With my fact sheet here, uh, it shows that it should be about 12 to 14 uh, joules of energy and 12 to 14 joules of energy is just enough to make someone very painful with uh, this kind of ball get 249 or so it will punch through the fabric and then half of the ball will stay inside the flesh and that's kind of scary so imagine you wear a t-shirt and they fire at that kind of power one peak shot like one highest power shot bang and you want the jackpot it will go into the flesh and make a big wound there if you want higher power Go with the Tiberius T 9.1, uh, it will produce maximum as tested up to 29 joules of energy with breaker balls and definitely you will see the balls will penetrate through the t-shirt into the, into the gel which means that it will go into the body for sure and even though if you're wearing like a uh, normal light jacket it will go through and into the flesh that's really scary. Thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye bye.